In a league that's evolving towards switchability on defense and versatility on offense, just how valuable is a player like Jalen Williams? Is a ceiling rotation player one of the best role players in the league maybe? I think he might just fit the mold of a player that might become a star someday. And in case you're not aware, I want to get into his size and what makes him so special just from that standpoint. He stands at 6'6", so he's already pretty big for somebody with guard skills. And he has a 7'2 wingspan, which is one of the largest wingspans relative to his height that the NBA has had in recent history. How do I know that? Because it says it right here. But that's not the important thing. A lot of players in the NBA are tall and they're long and they're physical and they're explosive and athletic. Jalen Williams seems to not just have the size and length, but he knows how to use it. He has absolutely amazing instincts for getting his hands in the right place. It's unbelievable how many times he just gets his hands on the ball. He might not be able to swat it away, but he is mucking up the offense for the opposing team. And it's something that's immediately noticeable in their last game against the Rockets. Here you were able to see him get a hand on the ball and force the offensive player to pick up his dribble. And check out this play that's coming up next. This is the next offensive play. Boom, just like that. Didn't get the steal, but guess what? Mucked up their offense, forces them to reset. That's not just special instincts. It's only possible because he's so long out there doesn't have to be standing right next to the other player to be able to get his hands on the ball and that immediately forces them to have to pick up their dribble complicates the possession they can't relax when he's on the ball like that i love it smaller guards are gonna have trouble with him like imagine jw just defending like a trey young or uh, Jalen Brunson, perhaps. I feel like the smaller guards, maybe a CP3, would find Jada very annoying. This play here was a foul, but again, look at how active he is trying to get those steals. That's one of the things I'm going to be looking out for during J-Dub's development, is can he maintain that level of defensive aggression without racking up the fouls, which when you have defenders like Lou Dort, like Chet Holmgren on your team, having another great defender like that is gonna be awesome. And by the way, I know this video is not about SGA. I'm confident he's gonna be playing the best defense of his life. So we're gonna be a really good defensive team. Recently, I believe it was on the Down to Dunk podcast, one of the guys, All Baisley Cakes or All Baby Cakes or something like that. He talked about how Jay Dub's defense reminds him a little bit of Andre Robertson, which is really exciting because Andre Robertson was one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. So if you add Jay Dub's offensive package to that, clearly you got something cooking. As for his offense, we've seen him shine mostly as an off-ball guy. He's great at moving without the ball, making cuts and getting wide open dunks, which is going to be great when he's playing with SGA, Giddy, and Chet, because they're all great passers, especially Giddy, and they're going to be able to find him to get those wide open buckets. And then with the ball, he actually developed as a point guard and then grew like four inches in college. So he's got that in his bag. He can control the ball. He's going to be able to run our offense when SJ and Giddy aren't on the court and Trey Man is. I can see Jay Will be in our point guard and Trey our shooting guard, at least for this season. I have noticed that J-Dub tends to go for a little mid-range floater, which he seems to be pretty good at. And he's been knocking down the three ball during summer league as well. So he's somebody that can stretch the floor for us, create if he has to. I'd love to see if he's got some more efficiency in him for the mid range. And if he can maybe take it a little bit, you know, maybe a step or two further, get some mid range jumpers going. Even if he doesn't do that and he's reliable with everything else, with the three point shooting, with the floaters, with the playmaking, with the defense, that's enough to make him a high quality starter on just about any team. So if you do add those other intangibles, the desire to be great, a mid-range game, he could actually elevate beyond being a great rotation player and become an actual star, at which point that would be a bit of a tricky situation with OKC because if you got a lot of a mouth to feed and a lot of players to pay big money, well, we know what's happened in the past with Harden. But even if he never unlocks 
all that other stuff that it takes to become a star. I'm extremely excited because he's shown that he can be a starter on this team. I know it's just Summer League. I know there's a lot that you can't take from it, but there actually is a lot that you can take from it. And by looking at what you can take from it, his shot, the way he's reading defenses, the way he can track a ball and get his hand on it, his size, his offensive abilities without the ball, that's all stuff that tells me that he is going to be able to fit in the NBA. And not just that, but he's hopefully going to be able to thrive, especially with the guards that we have on our team. And when you think about his development, the reps that he's going to be getting, the tutelage that he's going to be getting from Giddy and from SGA, as well as the fact that he's going up against bench units for the most part when he's handling the ball himself, I think he's got a chance to really pop this season. And who knows, maybe down the line, four, five, six years from now, we're looking at him a whole lot differently than as just a role player or another rotation player. And we might be going, damn, we got another late lottery steal, just like SGA who got picked, I believe 11. JW goes 12, like his ceiling is up there. But anyway, I wanted to keep this video quick. Thanks for clicking on it. The reception so far to my videos has been absolutely amazing. And I want to thank you guys for that. I've gotten a bunch of subscribers. I think I have more than 100 subscribers already, which blows my mind. I wasn't expecting to have 100 subscribers, but it's awesome that I do. So hopefully the channel keeps growing. Hopefully I can keep making more content for you guys. Have a great day. See y'all next time.